Hello, my name is Mike. I'm a solutions engineer at Verkata. In this video, we'll cover door and entry management for your Verkata intercom. Start by selecting the intercom you want to configure, either from the intercom homepage or by searching for a specific device in the devices page. From the tabs at the top of the intercom page, navigate to the settings tab. Once the page loads, use the options on the left hand side until you find door. Once selected, the intercom can be configured three ways for access controlling a door. The door configuration from a hardware perspective should be completed by an installer at this point. There are three ways for how the intercoms can integrate with your door. One, directly to the intercom. Two, to a Verkata access controller. Or three, to a third party access controller. The door name is assigned as part of the access control configuration. In the event you are using the intercom as an access controller, you can rename this door at any time. Otherwise, work with your access control administrator for door name changes. Your next door settings will require a few access control components which we cover in other videos. This is a shortcut that will immediately bring you to your access control specific settings for selecting a building and appropriate floor for your device. For easy recognition of the device location, you can use a provided thumbnail from Verkata or you may upload your own image from your local device. Toggling Monitor DFO is an access control term which stands for Door Forced Open. This would create an event anytime the door is open without a REX, Request to Exit, or an Intercom Based Unlock Event. If you are the administrator of the access control door you have paired to the intercom, you can customize some of the settings to improve the end user experience. If you notice visitors are having a hard time getting the door open before it relocks on them, you can set a longer unlock time. Default is 10 seconds. Additional items for configuration can include access control specifics around NFC and Bluetooth credentials, and the ability to use the remote unlock feature. This is covered in more detail in the access control videos. The intercom has some input options that can be wired up to provide some additional flexibility at the door to assist with ingress and egress. You can configure additional inputs on the intercom, such as a call trigger, perhaps to provide an alternative push button location within reach for ADA requirements, or as a REX, request to exit device that automatically sends an unlock signal to the access controller of the door paired with the intercom. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.